town of Grindavik is broken and scorched. Enormous fissures have opened up, caused by hundreds of tremors rattling the earth and people's nerves. There is uh, some volcanic activity going on, very high activity. So we had to take measures and evacuate the whole town. Authorities have started to reinforce key infrastructure, such as power plants, and there's great uncertainty about when, if ever, almost 4,000 evacuees will be able to move back to their homes. Uh, yesterday, I waited on the other side for five hours just to go home to get some stuff. I don't think we'll ever feel safe after knowing what has happened there. A large reservoir of magma has spread out roughly 800 meters below the Reykjanes Peninsula. A small finger of lava from the same magma field broke through three times in recent years, creating a fiery popular tourist attraction. And the window for a major eruption could still be several weeks away, says this volcanologist. In all cases, the earthquake activity declined just before the little dike or little finger of magma made it to the surface. So I don't think we should say now it's not going to happen. Iceland was created by volcanoes and people have always lived with them. But this area had been eruption free for centuries. And what's happened over the last few days has shocked people, says this journalist. I mean, we have always known that volcanoes can be pretty tricky neighbors. You know, you, you have to take them into account, but we are just not used to them this close to the most densely populated areas of Iceland. Icelanders founded Grindavik more than 1,000 years ago, but with the damage that's already been done, residents fear that long history may be at an end. Chris Brown, CBC News, London.